Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of finding the QR factorization of a matrix. Let's consider the matrix A, which is the matrix that is a 1, a negative 1, a 1, a negative 1, then a 0, a 1, a 0, a 1, then a 1, 1, 1, negative 1. So there's my matrix A. I want to find the QR factorization of this matrix. This first column over here I'm going to call V1, second column V2, and then V3, right? So A, of course, is a 4 by 3 matrix. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start and do the Gram-Schmidt procedure. So by Gram-Schmidt, what can we do? We can say that phi 1, phi 1 hat, is just V1 over the length of V1. Okay? Of course, the length of V1 is 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared. That's 4. Square root of 4 is 2, so I divide by 2 over here. So we're going to get V1 is going to be this vector over here. It's going to be a 1 half, a negative 1 half, a 1 half, and then a negative 1 half. That's my phi 1. That's the first vector in my orthogonalization scheme. Let's look at the psi 2. So psi 2 is going to be the following. So psi 2 is the vector which is going to be equal to V2. So psi 2 is going to be V2 over here. So V2. So this is going to be V2 minus the projection onto the vector phi 1 of V2, right? And so this formula here is going to give us the following. It's going to be V2 minus phi 2 hat phi 1, of course, phi 1 dot V2, and then in the direction of phi 1, okay? That's our formula for projection. All right, so what is this? This is going to be V2, which is going to be a 0, 1, 0, 1. And then what is phi 1 dot V2? So we're going to have a what? So phi 1 dot V2 is going to be a 0, then a negative 1 half, then a 0, then a negative 1 half, so it's going to be a negative 1. So this negative is going to turn to a positive, so I'm going to plus, plus phi 1, which is going to be a 1 half, negative 1 half, 1 half, and then negative 1 half. So if we add these together, what will we get? We'll get a 1 half, a 1 half, 1 half, a 1 half, a 1 half, and then a 1 half, like that. Okay, so that's my... Um, that's my psi 2. So now, phi 2 is going to be, phi 2 hat is going to be psi 2 over the length of psi 2. But the length of psi 2, a quarter plus a quarter plus a quarter plus a quarter is equal to 1. Therefore, it's a unit vector, so this is just going to be equal to psi 2, which is 1 half, 1 half, 1 half, 1 half. Great. So I have phi 1 and phi 2. The last step is phi and phi 3, so we're going to look at psi 3. And so what's psi 3 going to be? So psi 3 is going to be the vector. Well, it's going to be V3 minus the projection onto phi 1 of V3 minus the projection onto phi 2 of V3, which is what? Which is V3 minus V3 dot phi 1 in the direction of phi 1 minus v3 dot phi 2 in the direction of phi 2. Okay, that's going to be my psi 3, so let's figure this out. So what are these things going to be over here? So let's do this slowly. So this is going to be what? So v3, v3 is going to be 1, 1, 1, negative 1. That's my v3. If I do v3 dot phi 1, let's see what's going to happen. So v3, here's my phi 1, so I'm going to get a 1 half, a negative 1 half, a 1 half, and a positive 1 half. So the 1 half and the negative 1 half cancel out. I get a 1 half and then another positive 1 half, so that gives me a total of 1. So that's going to be a 1. So minus 1 copy of my phi 1, which is 1 half, negative 1 half, 1 half, negative 1 half. Right? Great. And then, and then what? And then we have to do phi 2 dot v3. So here's my phi 2 dot v3. That's going to be a 1 half, a 1 half, a 1 half, and a negative 1 half. That's also equal to 1, so minus 1. And then what we have phi 2 is going to be what? All 1 halves. 1 half, 1 half, 1 half, and 1 half, like that. And so let's do this carefully. So we're going to have a 1 minus a half minus a half. The first entry over there is going to be a 0. Then we're going to have a 1 plus a half minus a half, that's going to be a 1. Then we're going to have a 1 minus a half minus a half, that's going to be a 0. And we're going to have a negative 1, and then we're going to have a plus a half, and then a, and then a minus a half, so it's going to be a negative 1 over there, negative 1. Okay, great. And now I have to normalize this, so it says our phi 3, so our phi 3 hat is going to be what? It's going to be 0, 1 over the square root of 2, 
0, negative 1 over the square root of 2. Great. And so now let's recall what our QR factorization is. So our QR factorization says the following. So the QR factorization looks like this. It says if I put my phi's in a row over here, phi 1, phi 2, phi 3, and I hit that with v1, v2, v3, v1, v2, v3. What are we going to get? We're going to get a 3 by 3 matrix over here. That's going to be upper triangular, right? So it's going to be phi1 dot v1. Let's put this over here, actually. Let's put it below. So that's some more space. This is going to be what? This is going to be the upper triangular matrix phi1 dot v1 phi1 dot v2, phi1 dot v3, and then a 0, phi2 dot v2, and then phi2 dot v3, and then a 0, then a 0, then a phi3 dot v3, and there's, of course, arrows everywhere over here. All right, so that's what the QR factorization gives us, right? So we got to do all those dot products over there and then do the transpose of phi, right? So let's do this slowly. So I need to put the R matrix over here. So let's do this. So what is our matrix? So our final answer is our original matrix A, which is a 1, a negative 1, a 1, a negative 1, a 0, a 1, a 0, a 1, a 1, 1, 1, negative 1. It's going to be the transpose of this row matrix. So I'm going to put the columns of phi in here first. That's my Q matrix over here. So that's going to be what? That's going to be, the first one is going to be a 1 half, then a negative 1 half, then a 1 half, then a negative 1 half, and then my phi 2 over here, phi 2 is this 1 half one, so 1 half, 1 half, 1 half, 1 half. Great. And then finally my phi 3 is going to be a 0, 1 over the square root of 2, 0, negative 1 over the square root of 2. That's my Q matrix over here. And let's do the R matrix. It's going to be a 3 by 3 matrix. So it's going to be phi 1 dot v1. So here's, let's do phi 1 dot v1. So let's see what we're going to get over here. So we're going to get a 1 half, a 1 half, a 1 half, and a 1 half. So it's going to give me a 2. Okay. Let's do phi 1, uh, v2 dot phi 1 over here. So that's going to be a 0, a negative 1 half, a 0, and a negative 1 half. That's a negative 1. Let's do v3 dot phi 1. So that's going to be a 1 half, a negative 1 half. Those cancel. A 1 half and a positive 1 half. That's going to be a 1 over there. Great. Then we're going to have a 0 over here. It's an upper triangular matrix. Then we're going to do phi 2, v2. So here's v2 and here's phi 2 over here. So I'm going to have a 0, a 1 half, a 0, and a 1 half. That's going to be a 1. Let's do phi 2, v3. Phi 2, v3 is going to be a 1 half. A 1 half is a 1. Then a 1 half and a negative 1 half. So I'm going to get another 1 over there. Great. That's phi 2 dot v3. And then we got to do 0, 0, 0, 0. And then v3, phi 3. So here's my v3, and there's my phi 3. So let's see what we're going to get over here. We're going to get a 1, uh, we're going to 0, a 1 over root 2, a 0, and a 1 over root 2. So I have a 2 over root 2, but 2 over root 2 is the same thing as just root 2. So that's going to be a root 2 over there. And that's my upper triangular matrix. That's my R over here for the upper triangular matrix. So we've just factored this matrix A into an orthogonal matrix Q. So here, Q inverse is equal to Q transpose. That means it's orthogonal. And R is upper triangular. So that's our QR, this is our QR factorization. And so QR factorization is just a fancy way of doing what? Of storing the information from Gram-Schmidt procedure into a matrix that allows you to get an orthogonal matrix times an upper triangular matrix. And we'll see in further videos that this factorization is very useful when you're looking at projections and solving the least squares problem. Thank you very much.